Hi, YouTube. So I was looking on the news for New York on Google, and there's some really promising articles here, and I thought I'd share a couple of them with you. I will try and attach the links below. So the first one, which will probably be the second one I attach the link below, would be roughly 150 advocates of sex workers came together to announce the launch of decrimnewyork.org. A uh, sex worker-led coalition of LGBT, T, uh, LGBTQ, oh, but they left out the I, that's too bad. I, in case you don't know, is for intersex. That's people born with ambiguous genitals. They left those people out. They keep doing that. They're not supposed to, but they do anyway. I don't know. Eventually, I guess they'll get the I in there where it belongs. Oh, maybe if they stop cutting their genitals up when they're born, that is. <sighs> yeah, we still have a lot of fights as, as far as human rights go. Um, there are some countries, not to get off topic, but there are some countries that have outlawed genital mutilation on intersex people. And one of those countries is uh, Malta, by the way, just for your information. They can no longer cut on babies' uh, ambiguous genitals to try to make them look more male or more female. So in other words, if a uh, baby is born with a big clit that looks like a little penis, they can no longer chop it up. And that's the way it should be everywhere except for, well, we have a long, like I said, we have a long ways to go on human rights still. Um, LGBTQ, I'll say I, even though they did an I, Immigrant rights, and yes, there is such a thing as legal immigration, and people who try to immigrate here legally do get caught up in lots of raids, especially massage parlors, and then they're, um, they're deported because of that. And I think what adults do behind closed doors, and especially in massage parlors, is no one's business, especially not cops and the government and because this is like a massage parlor and these men are paying to be massaged. And I think actually it would be a crime not to massage all the body parts, especially when the gentleman is paying for it and wants it. Uh, harm reduction. And, oh, and also the criminal justice reform groups are all fighting too. And lawmakers, they're all fighting for decrim. So how can it not happen? It has to happen this time. I have been so disillusioned and disappointed with all these bills coming up this past couple of years. I was very disappointed that these bills for all these different states, we're talking like Hawaii, New Hampshire, California, there was a lawsuit to decriminalize. That didn't, nothing happened with that one. Nothing happened with the bill in Hawaii. Nothing happened with the bill in New Hampshire. And there's a few other states I don't know of, but I'm sure they, they are all, all have, there's many bills that have been uh, brought forward and they just get put aside and ignored and nothing ever happens with them. So this is a little bit different. There's a lot of different groups that are all fighting, uh, lawmakers too and politicians too. Um, however, even though Kamala Harris is saying something about Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I think decrim is good, especially if no one's getting harmed. But you know, she still needs a lot of education because you don't call our clients Johns, and you don't call people who manage our, you know, our safety. Maybe we might want to hire a bodyguard. We might want to hire someone to answer our phones. We might want to work with other coworkers and have a co-op. You don't call these people pimps, okay? So. I, I think she needs to be educated on this one because when when you decriminalize sex work, there's not going to be any more like people that take advantage of us because we'll have the law on our side. And the reason why people take advantage of sex workers today in places where it's criminalized is because we don't have any rights. We don't have the same rights as anybody else. We can't go to the police like everybody else. And we actually have to be careful of the police, unlike anybody else because they are out for blood and they do have guns and they they will shoot us and they have shot and killed sex workers and they have shot and killed 
clients of ours and you know and that's what they do because you don't know they're cops but they have guns and they can shoot shoot and kill you and, or they can have sex with you because they can use that as evidence and a lot of a lot of states do that so cops are our number one fear and so when you have this extreme fear of the police that you don't go to your abuser when you're abused right when you have this extreme fear criminals predators will take advantage of that and that's why they're called you know, pimps and Johns. But once you decriminalize, you can no longer call our clients uh, Johns and you can no longer call our management pimps because they won't have the upper hand on us. We will have the upper hand on them because the law, again, will no longer be trying to kill us. So I know it, it's hard to understand if you don't actually walk in our shoes, but please try to believe and understand just like any other prohibition in history, there is violence involved, and it is a war, okay? Um, in the other article, it's uh, New York lawmakers, again, like I was saying, join the sex worker advocate um, activists in the fight to decriminalize SW, that's sex work, in case you don't know, SW stands for sex work. So yeah, it looks very promising, even though there are politicians that do need to be schooled on a lot of the subjects it still looks promising. And um, I do want to move back to New York if this happens. The only problem is the last time I was there, I didn't have a, um, what do they call those? Um, a guarantee -er? That's someone who will guarantee that you can pay the rent. Um, because I didn't have that, I got burnt really bad. Like I got really taken advantage of. Like I had to pay like first last in a deposit so i was paying like three times my rent and then when my rent or when my lease expired after the year he didn't tell me that i uh, that was my window to get out of my lease he didn't tell me that that i only had a small window time to get out of my lease so after the year i just assumed it rolled over to a month to month but it didn't he for somehow he he um made it so I guess I didn't read the fine print either that or he did something illegal because instead of my rent going month to month it automatically renewed to another year lease but I didn't know that so when I left after a year of renting this place he actually kept all my deposits so I got burnt really really bad like can you imagine I mean rents are really really high in New York so can you imagine paying three times your rent and not getting any of it back when you move so yeah, I got totally ripped off. It was a lot of money. Okay. A lot of money for that. And now I think I would need to find someone that would guarantee my, my rent for me. So I wouldn't have to put up such a large deposit and be burnt again. But the problem with that is I don't have anyone to do that for me. So anyway, take care.